Hi friends, it's story time and today we are going for our third read aloud from Harry the Dirty Dog. And Harry the Dirty Dog was written by Jean Zion and it is illustrated by Margaret Bloy Graham. And you all already know the, the adventure of Harry. We will review the story, pay attention to little details that may call your attention or new things that you will find that you didn't notice on the other readings. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked, who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day, when, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. You see, they are fixing the street around. There are shovels there, there are holes all over the place, and here is Harry playing on the dirt. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. You see, and I wonder where is Harry? Where is he? Did you notice? He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do. Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to, to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again. But everyone shook their heads and said, hmm, Oh no, it couldn't be Harry. What do you think is Harry feeling here? Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate. But suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the whole barking short happy parks. Look, he's barking happily now. Why is he happy now? What? What happened? He found a scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs, he dashed with the family, following close behind. You see, it seems that Harry had a problem here. Nobody was recognizing, in the family, nobody was recognizing Harry. But now, he seems to be happy because apparently he found a solution for his, pro his problem. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. And he is in the tube now. He jumped into the bath tube and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth. 
a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bed, cried the little girl, and her father said, Why don't you and your brother give him once? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. You see, he is back now. It was wonderful to be home after dinner. Harry fell asleep in his favorite place happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush it eaten under his pillow. And this is the end of our story. Harry really enjoyed himself a lot and was dreaming about this his adventure. Do you think he will run away again? And I have another question for you. I wonder if the path that Harry heard at the beginning of the story was for him. I think it could have been for anyone. What do you think about this? And friends, for today, I am thankful for you for hearing the story, for listening and paying attention. And I'll see you tomorrow for another story time. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye.